what's up everybody welcome back to my channel i'm finally making a new video i know it's been a month i'm so sorry guys but i don't like to make content that i'm not 100 percent inspired and passionate about but today i am fully passionate about this topic and this book so let's get into it today i'm going to be sharing with you all the ways that i study learn and retain Vo Korean vocabulary using this book by Tuttle. Yes, um, I've been having this book for a while. So just like a little background on me and the book, I've been having it for a while. And for a while, I didn't like really study in it because I didn't know how to study in it myself. I would kind of just skim through it and like find words if I was making example sentences with um, in my notebooks for you know, grammatical stuff. Like if I was working in my um, grammar notebook, it was a different notebook than this, obviously, because this is my newer one. But like where I take notes, I would like crack this open and find a word to use. But recently, in the past year and a half, I think, I have assembled some ways that I learned Korean with learn Korean vocabulary with this book and I'm going to share that with you guys today in the back but yeah anyway okay <laughs> let's get into the video now I think I'm just a little excited because I'm finally recording a new YouTube video so yeah bear with me mm -hmm. okay so one of the first ways that I go through this book is by chapter hopping so what I mean by that if you aren't sure what that is so you see how there's chapters here let me bring it a little closer there's chapters for this book and like I said they're all topic based topic with a C and so it has different topics for the vocabulary um, but what I mean by that is instead of going one two three four five six seven going down the line in numerical order <laughs> I um skip around so you see how I have these little stars marked that's because those are the chapters that i have previously um jumped to i'm not doing that right now right now i actually am going in order i'm on chapter 10 so far but there was a method to the madness there was a reason why i did chapter hop and i'm going to talk about that right now so the reason that i had started chapter hopping at the time was because i was using this book to study um I was using this book with um, immersion, like I was immersing with this book along with YouTube or Netflix or Disney Plus or Hulu, any of those streaming sites. I was using this book with that. So I was really um, following the show that I was watching and I was jumping to different chapters um, that would best suit the show that I was watching. Another good example is I, when I was watching Once Upon a Time Again on Disney Plus, I was looking for stuff like that had to do with emotions and feelings and stuff like that in action. So I went to this chapter right here about feelings. I went with describing people, which I just recently refinished. Like I went through it at that time, but I officially went through it again here. So when I go through it, when I immerse with it with these shows, I'm not really doing much to it. I'm trying to immerse myself in this book with the show. So picking out... Um, Picking out and watching different K-dramas and videos on YouTube about um, certain things that I know I will find in this book. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Yeah, so just to boil it all down, I chapter hop just so that I'm able to immerse in this book based on the chapter. Like, I'll watch K-dramas and videos based on the chapter so I can see that vocabulary being used and i make sure that it's korean content of course but yeah that's that's the first one i hope that made sense i kind of got carried away there <laughs> all right let's move on to the next one so number two the second way that i go through this book and learn with this book is by completing section by section and i'm going to show you what i mean by that so you see how chapter 11 here i'm on chapter 11 this is the current spot i'm on so let's flip it over. I would do 11.1, .1, complete all of it. Complete all of it on one day, 11.1. .1. 
Then the next day that I com that I work in this book, complete 11.2. And then another day that I work in this book, complete 11.3. Ooh, this one's really short. Nice. Okay. And then do the same thing with the last section. So that is what I mean by completing it section by section. But yeah, that's for number two. Completing it section by section. All right, let's go on to the next one. So next up we have um, number four. <laughs> number four. And the fourth one is that this is something new actually that I started doing. I didn't do this before, but I recently discovered that this would be a great idea because I was already putting these and this is kind of like number five as well so i'm going to combine these two together so number four is separating the verbs and the nouns and sometimes the adjectives into a flashcard set and then number five is practicing them by putting them in a chosen flashcards app so my chosen flashcards app is check study i've used this for a long time now and i really much prefer it over um quizlet but yes, you see I have 127 here that I've created and I realized that I can actually, because what I would do before, here let me show you, Central Korean Vocabulary. You can see here that I've put in all of the vocabulary from the chapters I've done so far in this book. I've put it into this into flashcard sets for each chapter. But what I've recently thought of doing is separating the verbs and the nouns and sometimes the adjectives into their own vocabulary, into their own flashcard set. So that would be easier for me when I wanna go back and study because I do want to go back and like review with these. If you, you can't see, there's this orange thing right here. You can um, multiple choice right here and then flashcards right here. And I like to do the multiple multiple choice. And I think that's blood pressure. Ooh, nice. But yeah, um, I want to do this with the, with the app, but with the flashcards I made for each chapter, but it's a little overwhelming for me. Obviously I wouldn't do all of these at once. I wouldn't do 154, five cards at once. I would do a little bit at once, but Still, it's something that I recently thought of and I wanted to share with you guys as well, just in case that helps you. So I would, I'm going to start separating, when I go through each chapter, I'm going to start separating the verbs and the nouns and sometimes the adjectives and putting them into their own flashcard sets. So when I study them, it'll be easier on me. I've realized how much easier it is to have verbs in their own flashcard sets because look right here. For my other languages, I have verbs, Brazilian, Portuguese verbs, Creole, um, Haitian Creole verbs, and then the verb, the um, verb book for the Japanese verbs and the Korean verbs, I have that. Swahili verbs, German verbs, Mandarin verbs, you can see it, the list goes on. I, I have those separated into their own things and it's so helpful for me to learn verbs that way. And it's almost like a little dictionary for just the verbs, so... That's also helpful, and I think that's really good. But yeah, that's it for this one. It was a lot of talking for me, <laughs> and I hope that it made sense to you guys. I hope that it helped you um, think on some ideas, and I hope that mine are helpful to you as well, but I do hope that it helped spark some ideas in your, your own brain to, um, oops, sorry, camera shaking, to study with this book. I really like this book and this it's a really good book um, with a lot of potential if you know how to use it and I'm all about putting good use to books whether they're new books or books that I've used before I love finding new creative ways to put these books to use so yeah that's for this right here um, if you have any questions please leave them down in the comment section I always respond to them um, leave a like if you enjoyed this video um, it helps the channel out a lot. It really helps people, people like you, find me, find me. <laughs> so that's really good as well. Um, and subscribe if you want. If you find yourself continuously coming back to my channel for information and content, 
then it's free for you to just subscribe but it means a ton to me if you do so so welcome back to the channel and i'm glad that i can make this video again so thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one